Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with Spain in the Road to 56 mod. Alright, so I wanted to start out by showing you guys a faction map here. This is how it looks. Uh, the Axis has that little bit of land in Indochina, Comatran has a little bit as well. And then uh, the rest of Asia is in allied hands. Of course, Africa is very much in Axis hands. Uh, of course, Belgium has not been pulled into the war yet. Uh, but uh, the North, all the North Africa, uh, which is the richest part of Africa as far as uh, resources and factories go, is all in allied hands while the Axis have sub-Saharan Africa. And we are just uh, about to finish that up. I guess we still got to wrap this up here, of course, and then we're going to be sending some divisions to attack Sicily. I uh, got these guys uh, moving over here to this port. We're going to go ahead and set up a, a naval invasion. Uh, and I always want to attack Palermo, but it's always the most defended one, so we won't do that. We'll attack right there. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully uh, this uh, invasion of Sicily will be successful and we can at least get to here and then they can exhaust themselves by throwing troops across here and if things ever get really bad we can always put our, our fleet here to stop them from moving uh, moving across uh, the strait if we end up losing we just have to pay attention to it. But yeah, I might have another point here where they can throw themselves against us or maybe they won't and then we'll be able to conquer up into Italy. That's the hope. Uh, we're going to be sending red army divisions now because we got the supply situation or excuse me, the oil situation in a much better place. So we'll be sending uh, those guys to help out too. We won't do have them in the invasion because they're not good at invasions. Uh, we'll just send them. Might send them over to this port here when we're about ready, uh, but we won't uh, just so they can get there quickly. Uh, we could even send them to this port, I suppose, as well. But we won't, uh, you know, have them actually do the invasion. So one invasion there, and then when these guys wrap up uh, this territory here, we'll send them on a secondary invasion over onto the eastern coast of the island. Uh, we got to wrap this up first. Have them. Some problems, guys. Having some problems with that. Not able to get it done yet. There's still seven divisions. Seven divisions there uh, compared to our seven divisions. So having some problems. The British are here too, but yeah. I mean, we really only need to beat three. I don't know where these guys are going. Uh, stop. I could have swear I told them to. I didn't want them to go that way. I'm guessing they were already on the order. Uh, so uh, yeah, just naval invasions from the Allies uh, that are firing off. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to win here. It doesn't look like it. Maybe if we attack with all, but you know what? Because of our equipment trouble, I am not going to take advantage of that opportunity. Uh, because, yeah, we are really short on a lot of equipment right now. And if we want to invade Italy, we need to get the equipment situation dealt with. So, yeah, let's just have a little period of time where we're not, you know, fighting and taking tons of, of casualties. I mean, I guess we're fighting here, defending, but this is a great spot for us to defend. We have all five divisions in one province. It's not a bad spot at all. I almost want to go and put another one over there because it does look like we could end up losing it. Uh, if they sent enough divisions and i, I want to say we have plenty here yeah we do uh so let's just go take one of these divisions or maybe we'll take one of the ones over here just because he's closer yeah we'll take one of these guys and have him move over to this front all right fantastic and sunk another sur submarine there all right awesome uh, sorry if you guys hear my stomach growling right now. I'm fucking hungry as hell. I didn't realize how hungry I was. So I started recording. I would have ate before I started. Uh, but yeah, I just started growling like the moment after I started recording. Uh, I need some damn food. It's getting kind of close to dinner time. I think we're eating baked chicken tonight. Baked chicken breast. Yeah. Let's put a dockyard into... I really... We need sub submarines. We, we don't have any. Uh, we, we had them all destroyed. Uh, we do have one submarine though. So I guess we can place him into this one. And uh, hopefully we don't we don't lose him. We'll have to see how that goes. All right, so yeah, just kind of we gotta wait for equipment. Um, now you can see they might even move up more divisions here. In fact, or maybe they're just moving them, moving them around a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we're short of equipment, so that's kind of what the problem is there. Because yeah, we've been we have some severe equipment shortages, which is why I'm not gonna build any divisions just yet, even though we have the ability to. We don't have any infantry equipment. Uh, so yeah, I mean we have the manpower, but we lack the equipment keeping our plane their planes out here as long as they don't sink ships it's actually beneficial because we can shoot down their planes with our aa and we need to get aa out to all of our ships in fact i almost want to just wait for the 1944 text but you know what this is what we're going to do let's build one more destroyer and one more light cruiser just so that we can we can put the better aa there uh, that would be probably pretty smart uh, since it's mainly planes that are attacking us oh this is good okay um yeah very very good uh when do these guys leave here yeah, this is this is how we're gonna beat them because uh, they advanced. It's always stupid AI, man. Uh, we will go ahead and just attack here. 
And then we're going to send like one division here. Have the rest of these guys support. Just try and get a win there. See if we can't beat these divisions over to this province. We'll see. Uh, looks like we should be able to beat them over there. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Uh, it does seem that we're about to, to lose there, but that's okay. Uh, let's go and bring another division. And yes, it does look like we... And then we oh, damn. They got there. Shit. Shit. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to have happen, but it looks like it's okay. Uh, and what happened? Oh, the Soviet war has just started, hasn't it? The Soviet Union started, and of course they did. They didn't have anything else to do. And they had nobody else to fight because Japan's been defeated. So the Soviet Union started the conflict, and Germany is screwed. That's the end of the axis, guys. If, if they can barely win right now, uh, they're not going to be able to win with this massive Soviet front. The Soviets just came off a victory. I'm sure they took a lot of casualties, but uh, it wasn't it wasn't as bad as the Allies have done. The Allies are tired, man, They're exhausted. Uh, so this is the end of the Axis. I bet, they start, I bet the Soviet Union starts pushing forward here. I don't know, though. The Soviet Union surprises me in the past with how terrible the AI manages them, so we'll see what happens there. All right, so they're now into the conflict, and that's great news great news guys and we are about to have Tobruk and that allow us to completely wipe out the divisions there yes sir all right very good news we'll bring one of these guys over here and of course they're gonna bring all their allies in that will affect the fronts in Asia too because now you have these guys uh, that will be advancing this way and so we should have the axes knocked out of Asia soon too yeah Okay, so we just have to keep our eye on how things are, are going there. What I do want to take a look at is see how long till these guys can go. One more day, and then we can send them. All right, uh, so what we're going to do is let's get our, our Navy out there. Uh, we're going to put them over to here, and we will just tell them not to do anything right now. Just just go over there, and we'll attempt the invasion immediately, uh, though we should give them some planes, shouldn't we? Uh, yeah, a little bit of support here. We have fighters there. Uh, let's move the planes that are here because we don't really feel like we need them there anymore. Uh, let's move them over here. Have them help out in Italy. I know we're going to take some losses here, guys. That's inevitable. So maybe bring... And we still are so so short right now. Uh, I know that we have plenty of closed air support, though. So we'll go ahead and take a, a, one of the closed air support wings. Uh, air wings, I don't know where they're all at, but looks like they're all here. So yeah, we'll take one of these closed air support wings and just move them over to here for right now. Just to support in the invasion there, and we, we need more fighters here, but I don't I don't have any more fighters, guys. I got like no fighters. And I think I pulled the ones out of here already. Yeah, I mean we we are just doing terrible on, on fighter production. We can't uh we can't compete with the access. Unfortunately. Uh so won't get air superiority bonuses, but we will uh, maybe get some close air support helping. Uh we'll see. We'll see if they can help with the invasion. All right, so the, sh the ships are there. We're just waiting for them to finish up their planning. Uh, and let's go and wipe these dudes out here so that we'll have these ready for an invasion uh, of Eastern Sicily if we need to. We might not even need to. Uh, we did lose five convoys there. All right, that's unfortunate. Did we lose... Oh, these guys are not working. Oh, they're repairing. Okay, makes sense. All right, so I think they should be ready. Yes, sir. All right, so what we're going to want to do is put them onto naval invasion support, and then let's invade, and then we'll see how that goes. All right, and then we should have this wrapped up, too, though they are putting a pretty hard fight. Uh, they're cut off from supplies, so it's only a matter of time. We might need to pull it back and do it again. Yeah, that's the way it seems. Now, let's take a look at the front over here. I haven't looked at this in a while. We have all six divisions there, and they're not going to beat us there now. All right, we'll have to see how the invasion of Sicily goes. I'm really hoping that... We're able to race over to here and, and, and just advance quickly. I should have brought these Red Army troops and I just completely forgot. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them going. We won't bring them all uh, immediately over there. And now that we have supply fixed, let's get these ones trained. And let's just bring a few of them right now. What do we have? Uh, I'm thinking three should be enough. And I probably shouldn't have sent them all at once. No, 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 that'd be stupid. Let's send them all one at a time. <laughs> so if they get sunk out there by U-boats, uh, you know, it'd just be one one division, and then we'll get them going over to there. Yeah, we'll just send them one at a time, and we'll just kind of keep our eye on it. See how the invasion goes. And just everybody being joined. There we go. All right, so we are here. Let's try and race. I wish I had some faster troops, but again, I didn't want to send any on the invasion. So it's okay. Uh, let's take, try and hurry up 
and get to the uh, to the ports there on the east, and just wait until he gets out of the sea zone. So they can only engage one at a time. Is my plan here, and we'll send him probably straight to the port over there on the next one. I don't know if I can redirect this guy. Okay, we'll let me redirect him. All right, so now he's gone. Let's go ahead and take a tank. Send him as well. And just hope they don't get engaged. Uh, again, we do have some protection out there, but not a lot. All right, so let's advance there. And yeah, just sit there on those ones. Come on, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. Uh, so, yeah. Let's keep on pulling these guys in here. We do have a bunch of factories uh, that we just... Apparently, yeah. Uh, Palermo is all we had to do to get the factories there. All right, so I assigned them mostly to the land equipment. That's that's what we need right now. And, oops. Not bad. And we'll just keep trading with the United States. It's fine. I don't know if we've improved our, our convoy efficiency up there just yet. You know, to trade with the British and the, the Soviets. I'm sure the Soviets are... Hmm. Yeah, they're, de yeah, they're advancing. Okay. I wasn't even sure where the other borders were. Uh, but yeah, they are definitely advancing. So, yeah. Uh, I imagine that the Germans, yep, they pulled off troops. So let's go and advance here. And we'll have, like, this guy go here with one infantry. I won't even watch this. Yeah, they're going to pull all those troops off. I wouldn't be surprised if they have to pull troops off with here, too. Yeah, we could probably advance here if we wanted to. Uh, these troops here are, like, stupidly good on experience. I want to show you guys this. So we have level 21 veterans here, a couple of them which are getting 75% modifier in combat, which is just absolutely insane. We'll let some more of them pull off before we advance there. Uh, yeah, might as well. We already got a couple fronts where we're, we're advancing right now. The Italians are going to have to pull troops off, as are the Germans. Uh, let's hurry up and get over here. Come on, guys. Hurry. Get over there. Can't like, can't let them get it here. You know what we should do? Uh, where is our, our fleet? I think they went to go support another invasion. Uh, but let's turn them off of this and then have them block here uh, so that nobody can get there. That's the idea, anyway. So these guys are actually not taking attrition here. Uh, okay. Let's try. I really want to get this wrapped up. Okay. Just not able to do it. Just can't do it, guys. All right. What does that keep them there? Uh, what we could do, because I actually don't have that. So let's let's give them a planning bonus. That might make the uh, might be the deciding factor. All right. So we got to stop them from going across. It looks like it might have stopped them, in fact, that they might have just actually been on their way getting to, to go across. I think we sent them there just in time, guys. Yeah, that's the way it would appear. All right, so yeah, they can't attack now. Uh, we have locked them down. That's going to allow us to advance up this way uh, and see what we did over here. Seven convoys were sunk. I think that's... I thought that was Irish uh, convoys, though. So yeah, get all our troops advancing. It doesn't seem that the British are doing it, uh, which I want the participation points for advancing. And, yeah, I'm not going to attack there. Those are mountains there, guys. And Liberation of Warsaw. Wow. Look at the Soviets, man. Yeah. Uh, I told you guys, the, the Axis just can't do it. And we can now go ahead and send more red troops. I completely forgot about these guys. Uh, send, a, send a couple more of these guys. Again, not going to send... We'll send two uh, at a time this time. But, yeah, not going to send a bunch. All right, let's go ahead and get across. And we will advance uh, if we can. Might as well get up here. And we'll get be able to go even faster once we have these troops over here. Uh, these Red Army uh, fast troops. All right, uh, let me just keep, try to keep my eye on all these damn fronts. Uh, and yeah, like here we're not advancing when we could be. I don't actually want to attack there, though. Let's let him leave. Uh, he leaves. Well, he's going to go over there. All right, what's well, fine. It's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and go there. He's going to leave there soon as well. So, yeah, advancing along that. Uh, let's take a look at the Italian front. Let's go ahead and advance on this one as well. Get these guys going over there. Let's have the uh, Red Army troops coming too. And let's just send a couple more guys over there. Just do two at a time again. Just so they're never able to like sink a ton of, of troops at once if their submarines just happen to engage us while our convoy escorts are busy doing something else. And that's just all I'm kind of worried about. All right, so we do have some dockyards. Uh, let's go ahead and get these placed. Uh, did we finish up building something? Because I remember we said, no, we didn't. They're still set to build one. They get done on September 1st and October 21st as of right now. 
How are we doing on convoys? Let's let's play some and to convoys. Let's put a, a couple more. Uh, we have been losing some convoys here and there, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, so I think that'd be helpful. All right, let's get this guy pushing forward here, and we should be able to beat them there. That uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue. And we are providing some bombardment support too with our, our ships here to try and get up Italy as quickly as possible. Uh, let's take a look at the situation here, and we can push forward here, so let's go and make that happen. Yeah, they, they can't. Can't do anything, guys. They cannot do anything at this point. They are so focused on the Soviet front that this will be their defeat. Because they are losing to the Soviets. Yep. Here. Um, yeah, they're done for, guys. Uh, what we need to do is just go ahead and give them an order to go after Berlin and give them an aggressive order and then just make them go. Since I, I don't want to not be advancing when we could be. I'm kind of manually controlling while I can. You know, I'll peek over here every once in a while, but yeah, I don't want them to uh, just be sitting here when they could be uh, pushing forward. Uh, here... I almost want to go ahead and have these guys start uh, advancing. I bet we can win. I'd be surprised if we couldn't. Uh, if we just uh, sent them... Yeah, on an attack. Like if we just put them on aggressive. And then, uh, you know what? Let's just do balance on this front. And then just have them execute. And the same thing with these guys here. And let's take a look if there's anything we can get for these guys. There's not. Same thing with these guys. Have them advance. Let's see what happens. Uh, gorilla fighter there. Just go through all of our generals, see if there's anything that they can get. It doesn't look like there is anything. Uh, infantry expert here, we'll take that. And how about over here? No. I didn't check the field marshals though, so we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, they ain't got nothing. Alright, uh, so let's see how we do. Um, Alright, um, some are better than others. <laughs> Yeah, uh, some of these... Okay, so... I was hoping it would just be green all the way across, and since it's not, I'm going to have to manually control it. Yeah, because otherwise, they're just going to do really stupid attacks and just waste all of our manpower and equipment, which we don't have a lot of. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this this tech here. And you know what? I'm going to try and get it quicker. Uh, let's let's use that. Uh, although maybe I shouldn't have, because it looks like I didn't uh, affect it much. All right, so what we're going to do is let's tell these two to stop their attack, and then I will just manually control it, because clearly this is not going to work. All right, so we'll allow them to continue. We'll have them support that attack. Uh, and yeah, just stop all these uh, clearly, clearly red attacks here uh, that aren't going to work. And just have these guys support here. All right, so it looks pretty solid. And maybe if we sent these guys that way that would work uh, you know we know what we need to actually support that all right uh, so uh, let's take a look at our dockyard situation where we want to put these these dockyards into that we just seized I'm guessing from North Germany uh, let's put them in here all right so it looks solid uh, we are short on steel again and yeah we don't want to mod modify the government just yet I right, should just kind of make sure that these guys continue to push forward. Right, just go that way, please. All right, so just kind of watch them. Got a lot of fronts going uh, all at one time. All right, just get these guys going up here as well. All right, uh, so we can send some more uh, troops here. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, let's get dangerous. Let's live. Let's send three <laughs> just to get them over there. Uh, you know what? It would also be helpful to send a few more troops over here. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send uh, just a couple uh, divisions over there. Like one tank division to come over here. And he'll go through the sea. It's fine. If he dies, he dies. I hope he doesn't, obviously. But just get a few more troops over to that blue front that's uh, having a lot of success right now. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here. And yeah, it's fine. Do your thing. Whatever. Just push forward. Uh, advancing there, advancing there, Soviets advancing here. Uh, I think I think this is it, guys. Uh, I think this is it for the Axis. I think they're just about wrapped up. I still can't destroy these guys, though. Yeah, I can't destroy them, though. <laughs> We're just stuck sitting here, staring at the staring across at their lines. Alright, so we do need to create a front here. I didn't do it before because I didn't want all the troops racing over here. Uh, so... Now that's not a problem. 
Because I think all the troops are already coming, with the exception of that one guy there. Alright, uh, just then bombing our convoys that go across right now. As well as our patrol fleet, still bombing them as well. Uh, and then we have our main fleet here, I think, or maybe they're not. I thought I still had them there. Uh, and we got a submarine done. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and place him. Uh, we're going to place him to... I think that this is still the spot, man, uh, where we want our submarines. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep on sending them here for right now. And convoy rating. I think this is where we're going to get the most kills. All right, so we're going to send all these guys up here. All right, we have dockyards as well. Uh, so let's go and get those assigned. Try and get the height cruisers done, I guess. And some convoys. All right, looking great. Uh, and we do need to trade for some more steel as well as chromium. It should have been trading with Cuba. Okay, uh, I guess we'll try to trade with the Soviet Union and give them a factory. Nope, still low efficiency. Never mind. We just aren't able to uh, to do it. We'll give Cuba another factory. You are welcome. Yeah, we just can't trade with any of these guys because of a lack of efficiency up there. There's still a lot of U-boats uh, up there, unfortunately. All right, so should be able to advance here. I don't see any reason. I mean, they can't stop us on all these fronts at this point. Uh, we are in a fantastic position. But yeah, even when they're on aggressive, they still aren't pushing forward as quickly as they should be. So they do have to kind of micro it a bit. And so let's have this guy march forward over there. All right, looking pretty good. Let's actually change this up and have him go straight over there and have this guy come over here. Make sure all our troops continue pushing forward. Berlin is within our grasp, friends. Oh, we're so close. Uh, we're also pretty much ready to... Nah, I guess I'm not going to put it into the AI just yet. And you know what? Let's go ahead and take all the Red Army troops and have them go now. Alright, uh, so what we're going to want to do is let's just take these two and have them go that way. Well, these two go up this way. I sent those ones that way. Uh, just because it's a little bit flatter terrain there, so we'll have to take these two and have them help because you can see we clearly are not able to win there All right, yeah, just can't uh, just can't get those guys wrapped up. They're not even taking any attrition They have enough local supply apparently sent two more German U-boats there uh, And they are actually pushing us back there I'm about to get that wrapped up I guess we just see something else here We got Berlin into our hands. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, we're about to lose it though. Uh, we'll see if we can keep it. Um, right now, we do have their factories. So I guess we'll, we'll assign them. Uh, we might as well put them into the fighters. Uh, we need fighters, guys. And I think we're good on close air support. Uh, we don't even have any support over here. Yeah. Um, let's do a lot more fighters uh, because that's really what we're short on. Put one more in there. We're going to need a bunch of uh, supplies because of that, of course. And frankly, the rest of these probably go into infantry equipment. All right, so let's take a look at the situation here. Uh, we've seized some steel from our enemies, so we don't need as much now. But we do need more of other resources. And the fall of Berlin, though I don't think we're going to keep it. Uh, I think they're going to push us back there. We're attacking across the river, but it's a success. So I'm allowed to keep going. We're starting to push a lot more troops over here. I don't know if our, uh, our armies are going to be able to do this. Uh, yeah, I really don't know if, if uh, they're going to push us back or not. We'll have to see. We sent two more divisions over to the blue front. Uh, and yes, that's right. I was attacking here, and I then stopped. It doesn't look like we advanced at all. Yeah, it looks like all we did was uh, lose <laughs> on all of the attacks that we did. It's a terrible spot to be attacking, guys. It's not. Yeah, it's not a great spot. All right. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. Did we not? We really didn't win a single one of those attacks. I don't think I pulled them back. You see that they're tired. Yeah, we just lost every attack that we did here. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we still keep them locked down there. It's fine. I won't send it out again. Uh, dockyards. Uh, so we're just going to have to put these into... Yeah, I said put them out. I mean, we need convoys, so it's fine if we put a lot into convoys. And they, they take the least amount of resources as well. And yeah, still can't do that. Make sure they're not attacking there. They're not. Of course you're not. They have other problems to be worried about, of course. All right, so we did uh, win here. And I'm just going to man it. I know we could be moving quicker in Italy, but yeah, it's fine. It's absolutely fine, guys. It does look like we lost there, though. All right, 
a lot of those guys are leaving. Let's go ahead and have these guys go here. Same thing with this red army here. Could just put them all into one army, uh, but I don't want to get rid of the blue army. And sunk three destroyers there. Awesome. Uh, what do we get here? Just some planes. Which, their plane production is just amazing, because we've been destroying tons of their planes, but have had no success in getting there, doing anything really. Berlin's open, they can take it from us if they wanted to. I don't know where that division went that was there, uh, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you guys are doing, man. Just, can you attack Hanover? You could, then attack Hanover. You attack there. Come on guys, make it happen. Looks like we did lose Berlin. Damn it. All right, not surprising. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we actually start losing more territory. All right, so that's gonna change up our situation here a bit. So we'll have to pull a bit more uh, from, I don't even know what I put it into. Let's pull that there. And yeah, we're really starting to run low on infantry equipment, aren't we? Yeah, we've taken a ton of losses. Uh, especially that, I think that was pretty costly. Uh, but really just all these attacks are uh, costing us a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and get these troops moving out. Uh, we need to get them all situated before we do any more attacks here. And we have uh, allies that are pushing forward, so that's okay. And yeah, uh, it looks like Italy will be knocked out very soon. Uh, take a look what we did over here. That's not it. There we go, we sunk a Italian light cruiser. Okay. And I don't know what that guy's doing. I think I, yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Couldn't tell you. Uh, so we got more factories, uh, so let's go ahead and put them all into infantry equipment since we are really short on infantry equipment. Me pumping into that's not helping though. It's actually making this situation probably much, much worse. All right, uh, so we're trying to get Berlin again. We're going across the river there, but I'm gonna allow it because it's Berlin, of course. Uh, so we'll allow that, but we will stop that one. And you know what, let's go ahead and stop their attack now. Uh, yeah, there's really no reason for us to, yeah, there's no reason for us to, to let them continue doing the attack at this point. They're just gonna mismanage it muck it all up uh, so we will we'll control it from here on out and just get territory where we can we have the Americans helping us out it does look like Berlin's gonna be lost all right uh, so let's just oops, let's just go and pull this back here might go ahead and try and grab that province though and we do have military factories again uh, we seized from the the Italians or the Germans all right let's get 10 going into the civilian factories or excuse me into the uh, support equipment and just looking for the stuff that we're like most short on here quite a few things that we're actually lacking all right and let's do one more for torpedo bombers all right let's take a look and you know we're getting all these resources from the axis so that's why uh we actually don't nearly need to trade for much despite all those factories we just got and did they engage my convoys? They did not. The destroyers are protecting them, I think. Uh, so I think that worked out effectively. Let's go and cut off these guys from the rest of the country. They still will have supply, of course, but that's fine. They can keep their damn supply. Let's see if we can attack there and get a win. And maybe we'll take their supply from them and get these guys completely wiped out. Alright, so let's go ahead and have these guys push forward here. All this guy goes to connect to the American lines there. And just to make sure that all this territory goes into our hands and not American hands, if we can. All right, so attack over this way. These guys are attempting to break out. Cannot allow that. Uh, so we will take one division and have him attack. And, all right, so he's going this way. Get across the river quickly. Right, so he's going to have to stop the attack. When does he leave? Uh, one day. All right. When, do, when does our guys get there? Yeah, soon. All right, so it's fine. It's going to go here. Looks like we did win there. Excellent. So should hopefully get their port behind them. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. We did finish up the research of the combat unit destruction. All right, so that is all of our research bonuses for the uh, air doctrine bonuses. So we'll just have to go the slow way from here on out. Uh, so we have uh, three choices here. I don't. Yeah, I don't think these are. Yeah, they're not mutually exclusive. Uh, so yeah, we can go ground support, medium bomber, we're not doing that. Air superiority would probably be the best one for us to get right now. We're having a lot of trouble with that. Our fighters just can't do it. Although I don't know if there's gonna be any benefit for that considering the fact that we don't really have any fighters out there anymore. Air war has uh, 
not gone well for us. Uh, we can move the planes that we have here. They can cover where they're at fine, I suppose, uh, but there are closer air bases to use, so we'll go make use of those. We don't want the torpedo bombers coming over. Uh, we want the dive bombers here. Although, you can see we have, they, they're just, we just don't have the numbers, man. That's okay, let's go and grab that and keep those guys locked down. In fact, let's go and attack them and then have troops here attack there and you guys go up here and you guys go right there all right looking good let's have these guys go all the way down here should have them there we go all down into one province here and romania just capitulated so the soviets look at the soviets go man look at them go all right, so let's see what we can do here. Because uh, again, we're manually controlling this because well, obvious reasons. Uh, they're about to take Bremen, but I'm almost fine with that. Yeah, that's kind of okay. It's not, yeah, it's not really a problem. Let's go ahead and attempt to cut some troops off here. Get across the river there, if possible. And here. Uh, you know what? Let's not bother protecting this front and let the Americans do that. And we're just going to focus on getting Berlin into our hands in this territory. All right, so we got uh, more military factories and dockyards. I think we got those from the Italians. Uh, let's go and put all that into infantry equipment, uh, which we uh, definitely need a lot of right now. Let's go into... Yeah, the efficiency here is, is uh, bad. Not in a great spot. Uh, and we did finish up. Okay, so the dockyards is because we finished up. Let's see here. We have the heavy cruisers, light cruisers, and attack submarines. So we just finished up the destroyers. Uh, so let's go and get the next one. And I'm actually going to remember. Oops. I remember to change it to a B, but then I smacked the hell out of the mic. I'm angry. <laughs> All right, so I want to say we got the best sonar here. Uh, we did not put radar here, so we could do that. I don't know why we didn't do that. Maybe I was planning on it, but then I, I didn't have the experience. So I said I'd do it later, and then I never did. That'd be my guess. All right, so we have the B Bravos out there. Although I don't think it's Bravo and... Is it Butter? Uh, I think Butters might be World War One. I. I don't know what World War Two was. Huh, it might have been Butter. I don't know. I only know the, the more recent ones. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna put all these in the convoys, I suppose. All right, and just build up our convoys because we don't we don't have a lot of them right now. Okay, so these guys here could be used up here, but you know what? Uh, we don't need to do that. Uh, let's just have them do strike force mission where they're at. And I almost want to have them start moving. Yeah, I almost want to have them go elsewhere. Yeah, because we're about to get all this conquered. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's take these guys and increase their zones that they're patrolling and stuff. That's fine. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. There's a ship done. We've got a level 3 destroyer. Uh, these are all level 3 destroyers. So we can just go ahead and place these into any one of these fleets here. Let's go ahead and put them over here. That is a uh, level 2, right? I don't want to put them in with a the level 1. Okay. Still can't get that done, uh, so we just gotta leave divisions there. I don't know, we'll, we'll try uh, to get it done. But yeah, I don't expect. Yeah, I can't get it done. Uh, well, it did change yellow for a second there. Maybe it would have, situation might have changed there. I don't know. All right, so they did give us all this territory here. Uh, let's go ahead and take these guys go here and, all right, so it looks pretty good. Uh, we will take a couple of these divisions here, move them over there. And then if we need to, we can always have another division come over here, because it does look like we are, in fact, having some trouble getting those couple of divisions wiped out there. All right, so let's go ahead and have these guys push forward here. Uh, yeah, it's fine. He's pretty fast, he'll be able to get there. All right, let's take a look at the situation here. Uh, we are fighting somebody there. All right, well, he'll be able to support there. Uh, we did get across there, they did take Bremen from us. Okay. And they are winning there as well. All right. Well, it's fine. We just need to get that right there taken. And let's take a look at the situation here. Let's see if we can't finish them up. We're having some problems. Should probably just let them uh, repair up their 
organization a bit, but it's fine. All right, so trying to get some troops over here uh, because, yeah, they are attempting to push forward here. Let's go ahead and bring another division over there. But they are about to take that from us. Let's go and have this guy come over here. They'll get that port, so this division will be cut off from supply, although it does look like... Okay, we got there in time. Excellent. All right, looking good. Uh, and they're still not able to take that out. No tax down there. And we are sinking German convoys, continuing to sink German convoys. They've started to pull troops off here, but yeah, I haven't done it as much as you'd expect them to have, uh, or at least as much as I ex would expect them to have done so. Let's try and see if we can't push forward here. Why can we not win here? Good God. Yeah, we are having so many troubles attacking here. Yeah, a lot of problems on the advance here. All right. I'll just manually control that since it has been so problematic. Uh, and this guy could probably get that division cut off, so let's go and make that happen. And Berlin is within our hands. It's within our grasp, my friends. Go grab it, buddy. I believe in you. And we'll attack here as well. Just because... Nope, we won't. Never mind. We won't attack there either. Alright, so they're going to start stabilizing this front here soon. Have this guy go over that way. Alright, so should be able to grab that. Uh, and then we're going to try and destroy this division. Let's just push forward there because there's nobody there to stop us. Push forward here. It does seem like the Germans have pushed the Allies back here quite a bit. Uh, yeah, not going well there. Not going well. Alright, so these guys are ready to be destroyed. Let's make that happen. Alright, and... Croatia has capitulated. I mean, yeah, this is... This is not going well for them at all. Uh, they are in a pickle. This guy's cut off. So let's go ahead and start attacking here. Uh, damn it, they liberated him. Shit. Ah, fuck you. Alright, we'll let him go through. It's fine. When does he leave here? We'll let him through, and then we'll uh, attack. Let's pull this guy back. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Can he win there? He cannot. Stop your attack, man. Stop it. All right, we'll try and get here. Let's see if we can't make that happen. Although, we would have to make sure that we didn't beat them there. 21 hours. Okay, so we actually do need to pull back and then attack again. I'm right, trying to go there. All right, let's take a look here. One day in 18 hours? Yes. Ah, they moved somebody over there. Ah, shit. Now I wish I had <laughs> kept them going. Oh, that's salty. Alright, uh, so let's attack here while there's nobody there. Trying to get that division there wiped out. Does look like we do not have enough troops to cover this front. Uh, we have all these troops here, though, uh, that we could be pulling, putting somewhere else. Uh, let's have these two go over here. And... You know what? I'm probably just going to take all these guys and put them on this blue front. Let's make them all go over there. It's fine. Alright. Uh, we could train troops as well. Uh, yeah, we just can't win here. No matter what I do. Uh, we just cannot win there. That's crazy. You would think that we would be able to get a, a victory here. It's just the nature of this territory. They don't even have forts here, I don't think. We just can't win. Which is just insane, because I would think that we'd have much better success here. Alright, we did push forward here, finally. Uh, about time. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that little front. Just take all these guys make sure they're signed to there. Uh, and that did... Did I grab some of the... Yeah, it looks like I might have grabbed a few of these guys that should have been in this army. Yeah, I did do that. All right. I think it's these guys here, maybe. Where's the other one? Yeah. And just put them there. Maybe, like, one more of these guys. Whatever, it's fine. Doesn't matter. All right. Uh, so, not able to capitalize on that just yet. All right, so we're getting green. We're, taking, we're entering into French territory, which I really want to annex. All right. Uh can't really advance there without getting ourselves potentially cut off from supply. Uh, we are losing there as well. Might be able to win there, but we are, yeah, we're in a position where they could potentially cut us off here. We need more troops here, honestly. That's why we sent all those guys over here. So, they'll take their time, they'll get over here. Uh, and, looks like we are losing that. 
right there. All right, so they're pulling back a little bit. We'll just let them uh, pull back. And we will want to go ahead and actually create a front here. Yeah, we'll create a front right there. Same thing with these guys. Just create a front. Just to get a planning bonus. And everybody should be on that front. Yes, sir. Okay. Excellent. Uh, do we have any troops that we can pull from anywhere? I don't really think so. Well, we could be occupying. You know what I'm going to do? Uh, let's take this whole army here and then put them into this. And then we're going to go ahead and set these guys up to occupy everything that needs to be garrisoned. This will cause problems, guys. This will absolutely cause some problems. We could end up losing some troops in the sea, but I'm not going to micromanage this. So it's going to have to work. Uh, over here is going to cause issues, but... Again, I'm, I'm not micromanaging it, so <laughs> it'll just have to work. Uh, we need 17 divisions to cover all the uh, lower resistance here, and we got 19, so might lose some troops in the sea. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, none of these are, like, great divisions, so it's fine. Uh, we could also pull one of these guys to make sure we have as many as we need. Get up to 20. I said we only need 17, but remember, we're going to need more than that. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, we do have the ability to modify our government, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's do Chief of Air Force. Uh, we want to do air superiority, yeah. Let's do that. Surprised we didn't get that yet. I suppose we were working on other things. Alright, uh, so yeah, just kind of stuck uh, right now. I don't even want to advance any further because I'm so worried that uh, we're just going to get ourselves cut off. Yeah, we did lose there as well. Alright, yeah, let's just, let's just stabilize the front, guys. Uh, we can give them a different order here. Um, yeah, let's stabilize front. The Soviets are coming, though. Uh, so, we don't want them to get too much territory. Uh, and I really want to get some wins here, but man, it's just fucking... <laughs> I can't, can't get can't get the wins here, man. Uh, just having a lot of troubles. Attack there, that should be a win. This should, should be able to get a win there. Yeah, I get a win there now. But yeah, just fucking problems, man. This, this front, uh, it's a tough, tough front. Those mountains aren't are no joke, and then they also have the, uh, you know, they've been there for a while, so they have entrenchment. Uh, too. I, I, I want to attack there, guys, because there's nobody there, but again, yeah, we're just not able to do that. Let's just wait. Let's get our troops over here. And, uh, you know, they'll eventually have to pull troops off to go deal with other fronts. Alright, so let's go ahead and take it. We did lose a submarine. Damn it. My submarine! Alright, well, we got another submarine over here. We can send them right, right there. We have no submarines in the in the north, by the way. We just can't manage it. Uh, this is open. Let's go and attack here. And send all these guys over here. Let them go that way. In fact, let's actually send one tank over there. Just to lock them down. And these guys will attack as well. And that's about it. That's all we'll be able to do for right now. Alright, so we did get there. Excellent. We can go pull back now. And we're going to pull these guys back too. All right, let's try and push forward here wherever we can. Looks like we should have that taken soon. There's an opening here, so let's go take advantage of that. Let's kind of push forward where there are openings. Take a look at this front again, make sure that there's nothing going on here we can take advantage of. Not really. Our troops are kind of weak. Let's just wait till we get the rest of those divisions over there uh, that we sent. They're on their way. They should be there soon. Uh, let's take a look at the front here. Uh, we could take advantage of some stuff here. Uh, there's some openings. Let's go and attack. And uh, let's go and attack right there. Just sending them all. This is not the most efficient way of doing this. I don't care though. It's still better than what the AI would do if we put them in control. Uh, oh, we can't uh, attack there. The AI is just so garbage. I know this guy has no organization and I'm sending him anyway. I don't care. I'm a rebel. No damn cause. <laughs> the cause of defeating the Axis, I suppose that's our cause uh, of rebelling against the game's mechanics. All right, so let's go attack here. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't get across here as well. Try and get that division. He won't be cut off, but, you know, he won't be able to retreat. But we would absolutely love to cut these guys off, so we'll try and make that happen. And might as well take advantage of nobody being up here. Try and get all that into our own hands. Alright, so these guys should be able to get wiped out now. Just don't make that happen. Alright, so they're attacking over that way, but that's okay. Let them. Let them attack. We're gonna get behind them. Uh, let's take a look at the blue front. See how things are going here. Uh, still one division per province right now. Uh, we're still kind of waiting on getting getting these troops over there. Okay, just wanted to see how it was looking. Uh, let's go and wipe these guys out. 
And attempt to attack here, though again, no organization, but they don't really have any organization either. Uh, so there's that to consider. Alright, uh, so we did not win here, surprisingly. Yeah, having a lot of problems here. Yeah, just the front overall, this is, uh, this is a tough front. Uh, we're having a lot of problems there. Oh, God, I'm so tempted to attack here, man. <laughs> I feel like I got to. I can't help myself, guys. I have to. It's open. There's nobody there defending it. I'm attacking. All right. Uh, we'll take a look over here, and we almost have these troops here cut off from supply, which is excellent news. Let's go ahead and grab Florence now. Uh, and it's got a ton of divisions over here. Kind of confused. Not sure what's going on. All right. So let's go and attack here. And... Let's see. Let's bring these guys this way. All right, let's go and take care of some of these, these fronts here. And have, yeah, he can grab Florence. That's what I want him to do. And then he'll go here. Just trying to cut them off. Of course, having some problems doing that. Let's have these guys go this way. All right, so these guys here, let's have them attack that way. And then have these guys go this way. And then have them attack over there. And again, these guys will go over here. Alright, so let's get those uh, units there destroyed. And he'll attack over here. Let's go take Venice, guys. So, uh, almost got the Italians defeated. And it does look like it's going to be the end of the episode, guys. So we did take that one province. It doesn't really do much for us, but I wanted to. Uh, so we did. Took that province, you can see the Soviets are invading, but yeah, the Axis are just about done with. I didn't think we'd be able to get it done in one episode, and of course, uh, now we also have to, uh, we have to do the peace treaty too, so. So yeah, uh, Axis is almost done. What are we going to do after that? Well, I did want to, I, I thought about doing, I don't know if we still will, but, because, you know, once all the main enemies are defeated, then it's, I don't know. <laughs> I thought about, you know, building out the Spanish Empire and, and going into the Americas, but man, that'd be so easy. I mean, it's not really like hard. So there's not really a whole lot of point to it other than for our own entertainment. So yeah, I don't know if uh, if we will or not. Uh, so we'll, we'll see you guys. Um, as I said, there's really just not a whole whole lot of reason to do it, uh, to, to actually attempt to to get some, some territory in the Americas. We declare war on them. Uh, our allies will still be in the allies, so I mean, we'll likely be able to defeat them pretty easily. Um, although, you know what? I mean, if we have war goal, we should be able to declare war even on democracies. I could be wrong, though. We might not be able to declare war on them. Uh, even though, even if we get one, we might be able to. It's kind of hard to say, though, because, yeah, they're a democracy. Uh, so, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's just not very difficult. It's more tedious than anything else. Uh, you know, getting that territory there and... Really, we would have created quite the empire for ourselves if we were able to get control of Italy, which is my goal. We're going to try and do Portugal first, and then we're going to go after Italy and Sicily and then North Africa and maybe a little bit of southern France. I just don't think we'll have the points for that. Let's go and take a look and see how we're doing. We're at 21% total war participation. It's not bad, uh, but yeah, unfortunately, it's not, not high enough to get as much as I'm probably going to want. We're at 292,000 casualties, 176 by the Germans and 97 by the Italians. 4.04 uh, .04 million casualties uh, for the Germans, and we did 2.5 million of that, so well over half. Pretty damn good. Uh, and then, I mean, we even did the majority of the casualties of the Hungarians. Uh, that we're not even fighting over there. Uh, Italy, 839,000 casualties. They're about to capitulate, 98% towards capitulation. Germans are 23% towards capitulation. And... We did 521,000 of those 839 casualties. Basically, we're the heroes of this war. That's really what it comes down to. Uh, yeah, I mean, we didn't lose as many as other countries did. I mean, Greece lost 741, UK 777. That doesn't count how much they lost against the Japanese. United States, 1.08 million. They lost a lot against the Japanese. Well, uh, the Soviets have already taken 704,000 casualties. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, how much have they done? 433 in exchange for 585. So. Not even. Uh, certainly more casualties on the Soviet side, but yeah. Uh, so we'll get all these assigned here next episode where we should get the Axis defeated, guys. Um, I, I don't see how the Germans can, can fight on this many fronts uh, at this point. So I'm pretty sure we should be able to get them defeated soon. It's just really the question of how much territory do we get? How much German territory 
are we able to get? Uh, looks like they are helping out here as well. They're doing great here. Still holding out in Asia. That's not going to help them win the war, of course. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how much we'll be able to get. Uh, so it should be an interesting peace treaty. And then I don't know. I don't know if that'll be the last episode, if, if we get the peace treaty and stuff. Because the only other thing to do is to attack little countries in, in South America. I mean, I don't know how entertaining that would be. I wasn't surprised. I wasn't expecting uh, this to end this soon, guys. I thought this was going to take a lot longer. I was expecting, like, several more episodes before Germany fell. Uh, but once Soviet Union came in, then it was a wrap. They just couldn't do it. They can't beat the Allies uh, at the point that we were at, really, with just Spanish territory. is the only place we had, that you know, Denmark and, and Spain, and a bunch of failed invasions. If they can't beat the Allies, then they definitely can't can't win with the Soviet Union in, involved, because uh, so that's their main enemy here in here in Europe. Uh, that typically you know ticks down all their casualties. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, it's, it's not surprising, not surprising at all. Once they went to war with the Soviet Union, which I didn't know when that was going to happen, I would have been surprised if it was like that Dutch campaign where the French and the Germans never fought. In which case, it would have been a very slow grind, guys. A very slow grind to get them defeated. We could probably tick down the amount of fuel we're trading for. Uh, I think we're not even building anything, so we should probably do that. Uh, so yeah, we're going to build some stuff and uh, get these things going. We'll, we'll take care of all the next episode. I've been neglecting it because we've been fighting, guys. Uh, fighting and winning. Uh, so yes, excited to see what happens here uh, in the peace treaty. And if we get that next episode, which I assume would happen. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode, man. It was exciting. Uh, one for me, at least. I... I was, I'm just shocked that it went the way it did, uh, that we were able to. And the only place we haven't had a lot of successes here in southern uh, France has been rough. About as rough as it was for them, I'd say. So yeah, I have a lot of uh, problem there. But yeah, Germany's been great until they, they brought troops over here to kind of stop our advance. Italy has just been super smooth. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, going well. Uh, if you did enjoy the episode, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.